Yo, stop. I'm videoing. Stop. Stop. I'm videoing. You stop. Hey everyone, Chris here for the Rideshare Guy. And today we're gonna to be doing a reaction video to a, a driver who took a big verbal abuse when a passenger flipped out on him for just asking to wear a mask. In this day and age, after months of mask mandates and everything that's going on, still having problems like this, really bad. So let's get right into the video. Quick disclaimer, there is a lot of bad language in this. It's all censored out. So if you have any kids nearby or anything like that, you might wanna watch this video a little bit later. But either way, again, it's all censored out. I just wanted to let you know with that. So let's get right into it. You're a sand That's what you are. You're a fucking sand Fuck you. Yeah. Film him saying that Continue saying that. What's a sand Do you know what a sand is? Joe. Do you know what a sand is? Wow. Because I do. Joe, stop. I'm videoing. Stop. Stop. I'm videoing. You stop. Now, the only thing I want to know is what actually happened just before this. I'm going to look at the news article in just a few minutes. This is from the New York Post. So if you want to check this out, uh, it is going to be there. So I just want to know what actually happened before this, where they're in this sort of predicament to begin with, where he's calling him this crazy names. She's filming and recording him. And what really happened? I know it's license plate <laughs> you. you should never wow. again. no you will <laughs> never you will never drive yeah you will never drive are you are you happy now and then they're saying you're never going to drive for lyft again so again what happened in all this why are they recording and i'm glad he got his phone out but this is another reason why all drivers should have a dash camera recording the entire interaction and then save that footage, especially if there's something like this that happens. And then you can say exactly what happened. You show exactly what happened. And if you're in the right here, then everything is going to be good and recorded and you're OK. No, by no, calling not. people. No, we, we expected a lift drive home. Just, that's what we expect. Just, just, just put on your mask. Just, hey, hold on. Gosh. Hold on. You're just a fucking stupid idiot. So, again, all this for asking them to wear a mask. Now, what's crazy is he had a mask on at the very beginning of this video, and she has one on too. So, I don't know what was going on before, but you can tell he is really drunk. Thank you. Yeah. You, you. you feel good? You. you feel good now? Do you feel good? Do you, Do you feel, feel good? good? Do you here, feel hold good? on, hold on. I'll feel better when I piss in here. Let me piss in your car. Go ahead, do it. Hold on, I'm going to piss in your car. Reason why you need to keep your doors locked whenever they get out of the car. And drivers should probably stay in the car, keep it more professional. Like I said, I don't know what happened before this video and all this. If there's ever footage or anything like that, I can make an update video for this. But again... This is another reason why you want to keep your doors locked on top of that. But still, that right there would be absolutely absurd and just not good. Do it. Do you feel better? Yeah, I'm not, you stupid Do you feel good? Do you feel good? Yeah, do you, feel good? Yeah, do you record, feel good? Record him saying too, okay? Do you feel good? His name is Joe. Thank do you, you so much. Good? Have a good night. Good? Have a good night. Wow. So that is really crazy what happened. So now this article and video is from New York Post and it's titled Man Caught on Video Hurling Racist Comments at Lyft Driver Fired from Job. So I got a question for you, Joe. Do you feel good? So now just to put this into perspective of what happened, uh, it was a Tuesday night encounter where the man identified as Joe lashing out at the driver, David, after he told him to put his mask back on. And then it kind of just goes into that. He said that he filmed the incident and repeatedly asked Joe and his female companion to put on their masks, but they continued spewing racial slurs at him. So acting like a fool and doing whatever will have some real world repercussions if it gets big like this. 
Now, this Joe character was fired, so he's going to have some real issues when it comes down to it. And it says, the employee has been terminated effective immediately, the company said in a statement. The quick and decisive action we took demonstrates that racism in any form will not be tolerated by our company. And also, if you're wondering what Lyft did to this person, Lyft told the post earlier that the man was permanently banned from using its service. Even after these mask mandates have been in place for months when it comes to Uber and Lyft, people are still trying to cause problems. And something like this just goes to show you that it could have real world repercussions. And this person then lost their job because of it. So either way, this is something that just put on a mask. It's simple. It's easy. And you don't have to have these problems. Also, there's no reason for racism in today's society. Everybody's just trying to get through the world. Have a conversation with other people. Ask them questions, whatever it is. Just don't be racist. There's no reason for it. Now, if you like this type of video, if you like that Joe got fired, if you like that Lyft disbanded him from be ever being able to use the service again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you'd like to see some more videos like this or reaction videos, make sure you comment in the comment section below. Also, what would you have done in this particular situation? Make sure to comment and let us know. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the Rideshare Guy yet, make sure you do because there's new videos every single week coming out all within the rideshare industry, whether it's helping to be a better driver, helping to make more money, or even maybe some reaction videos to what's going on in the world today. All right, everyone, drive safe.